everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. In today's video, we're going to do a head to head comparison of a 2060 Super and a 3060 LHR. So I picked these two cards uh, because right now they're selling for about the same price. Uh, if I'm looking on eBay at recently sold listings, I'm finding the 2060 Supers going for around $600, $650 if I exclude the outliers. And if I look at the same search criteria for a 3060 LHR, they're going a little higher. You know, we're looking $700, $750 plus. But if I hop over to, for example, the Zotac store, I can pick up this 3060 Amp White for $600. This thing comes in stock pretty frequently. So again, the $600 to $650 price range, I can pick up either one of these cards. So what I did is I took my 2060 Super MSI and my Zotac 3060 LHR and I tested them each on Ethereum, Ravencoin, Firo, Flux, and Ergo. And for each test, I used the same mining software. So for example, Ethereum, I use T-Rex. And this table are the results. So if we look primarily focused on efficiency, which is kind of where I'm looking I'm looking down the road. I'm looking for when Ethereum goes proof of stake. I'm looking for if and when we get into a bear market. Um, you know, how can I keep my operation running? So for 2060 Super, uh, it's clearly the winner for Ethereum. We're getting 45 and a half mega hash and an efficiency of, of 0.49. This is a super efficient card for Ethereum. Great Ethereum mining card. The 3060 LHR, of course, is uh, hash rate limited on Ethereum, so a much lower efficiency, uh, 36.49 mega hash. So once we get past Ethereum and we go to Ravencoin and Firo, we see now that the 3060 LHR is more efficient. I'm able to get a higher hash rate and a lower power. So if I want to mine Ravencoin or Firo and I'm looking to go out and pick up a new card, well, then maybe the 3060 LHR is the way to go for that price point. Uh, when I look at Flux, uh, if I'm going purely on efficiency, the 2060 Super is my best bet. I can get a 0.4, almost 0.41 efficiency at around 32 mega hash at 78 watts, whereas the 3060 LHR getting almost 33 mega hash at 93 watts. Now, to compare these things, I really wanted to look for Flux on my 3060 LHR. I do push it a little harder. So I push it up to 41.25 solutions per second at 125 watts, and I don't sacrifice a lot of efficiency. So to get a similar comparison, I did the same thing on the 2060 Super. I pushed it a little harder, and I was able to get up to 46.4 solutions per second at 147 watts, so a 0.316 efficiency. So if I were to try and dial these in to get them exact, maybe the efficiencies do kind of line up. So for Flux, maybe it's a push. For Ergo, if I'm looking purely at efficiency, um, really they're about the same, but I can push the 3060 LHR up to 140 mega hash, whereas for that same efficiency, I can only get 88 mega hash. So again, even though the efficiencies are the same, the 3060 LHR in my book is going to be a better option. So. I'm not recommending one card over the other. I put this together today because I really wanted to show how these cards can be different from one algorithm to the other. Uh, while it may be clear that the 2060 Super is the best card to buy because you're only looking at Ethereum, that may not be the case when you're looking down the road at what that card is going to have to switch to once Ethereum is no longer mineable and is proof of stake. The other thing to think about is what type of resale value are we gonna have? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I don't think anyone does, but will a 2060 Super be uh, the same price as a 3060 LHR six months from now, a year from now? Again, not really sure, but these are all things that we should be considering when we're looking at buying graphics cards at this stage in the market. Now, personally, I'm not buying either one of these cards at $650. This is not financial advice, but I think both of them are overpriced. I'm gonna be sitting on the sidelines right now. I'm not buying any cards uh, in the immediate time frame because I do believe the price of graphics cards will go down. But if you are in the market to buy, 
um, it might be worth taking the time to look at some of these things. So let's real quickly, let's look over at what to mine. And I punched all these numbers in and let's just do a quick comparison right now on profitability of these two cards. So we're starting out with a 3060 LHR, you know, we're at about a dollar after electricity on Ethereum. We're at about a dollar on Firo, 88 cents on Ergo, 78 cents on Ravencoin and 64 cents on Flux. So really we're, we're a dollar and below on everything for profitability on the 3060 LHR. And let's take a look at the 2060 Super and do the same comparison. And you can see that we're at $1.44 on Ethereum. So, you know, again, as a, uh, an alternative, you know, for, for comparison purposes for Ethereum, the, the 2060 Super is great. But now if we start looking at everything else, Firo, Ergo, uh, Flux, Ravencoin, we're down sub 75 cents. So we are making a little bit more on the 3060 LHR compared to the 2060 Super. So again, not a recommendation, not financial advice, just my own personal belief that it is important to do your homework before you go out and buy a graphics card, particularly with where we sit right now, the price of Ethereum, the future of Ethereum, and the uncertainty that, uh, that surrounds mining moving forward. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it was informative. Uh, if you did like this video, please hit the like button, give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel for, uh, for future content. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when, uh, when new content is available. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing you again real soon.